Hello and welcome to the final part of our episode 4 A New Hope Star Wars Marathon and there was only one way I could finish this uh, uh, this marathon and that would be with uh, the iconic Death Star Trench and the, I feel like the best way to convey this pivotal scene in the movie um, was to do it via the, the excellent GameCube launch game Rogue Leader, uh, developed by Factor 5, which is quite frankly one of my favourite Star Wars games ever made. And not only that, I think it's one of my favourite launch titles for any system ever. This game is what sold me to a GameCube. I played this game in a game shop before the system came out and I knew that I just had to have this system and this game. It's such a brilliantly authentic experience. Um, using uh, scenes from the, uh, the, the movie and, and a few made up scenes especially for the game interspersed with, uh, with clips from the or audio clips from the movie while you're playing some of these levels as well just adding to that atmosphere uh, with these brilliant graphics um, which you know, feel like and look like they come straight from the special edition uh, version of the Star Wars films Especially this first level of the game, which is such an impressive way to start um, with this excellent level that has all the thrills of uh, tackling the Death Star, uh, like you always wanted to when you were younger. Uh, it starts off relatively simple, you have to take down these uh, little towers, and then thing gets, things get a bit more hairy as you start to have to tackle uh, TIE fighters and, and you're kind of greeted with all these little laser turrets as well that can really cause you a few problems if you're not careful and what you also have is you have a team of, uh, of other X-Wing uh, pilots with you and you can sort of give them uh, tar uh, different commands using the GameCube D-pad. In general this game makes very good use of the GameCube's rather unique uh, gamepads what I particularly like is the ability to, um, to accelerate and decelerate using the analog uh, uh, shoulder buttons, which also click in, uh, which allow you to open up the X-wing um, wings and, and close them again. It's just a very good use of the GameCube in general, from the visuals to the audio to the controls, and the result is one of my favourite games for the GameCube. Not even its sequel um, could, could better it, to be honest. And it really does make me miss Factor 5 as a developer um, because they did some amazing things and when they started doing things with Star Wars they you know, they did even better things. They're a, a developer that I really do miss. Um, they were going to do a, a, a remake of their Star Wars games um, for the Nintendo Wii um, but that sadly never happened and I think that's just the big, one of the biggest shames of the industry is that that never happened and that they were a developer that were closed unnecessarily. You know, they had their problems, but um, but anyway, on a lighter note, this is an amazing game. Um, it's, as I say, it's very authentic. All the sound effects are there. All the music is there. All the music is wonderful. You set this up to a, a, a Dolby Pro Logic 2 compatible sound system and it just sounds great. While it's not quite a, a digital 5.1 surround sound soundtrack, uh, the, the Pro Logic audio really does give it that sort of almost like that effect and it works wonderfully. It really is a great showcase of the GameCube. It plays incredibly well too, it's very simple, it's, it's very arcadey, uh, quite a lot more depth than Star Wars Arcade that we were playing uh, last time. But it's just, um, it, it soaks fast and smooth, uh, an excellent 60 frames per second um, uh, frame rate as well. It just looks looks wonderful, well, maybe not quite a 60 frames per second, but it's, it's pretty, pretty nippy. Um, and it's quite a consistent frame rate as well. But we're just about to get to the important scene in the Death Star Trench. Uh, and it, they, they play it so well. It's the, you know, it's the whole scene of having to run down this, this very difficult to navigate trench. Speeding up uh, when you can and, and slowing down when you need to. Uh, especially when you get pursued by a few TIE fighters. And of course uh, the big bad Darth Vader himself. But it's just such an amazing uh, sequence. And it's conveyed so very well. Uh, in this game which is and it's just the first level you know there are even better levels as you go throughout the game um, but the fact they nail it so well in that first level it just gets you pumped up and um, what I like about this game is you have 
reasons to replay each level using uh, as you ha you earn medals um, by achieving certain things such as killing so many enemies uh, finishing the level in particular times almost like Goldeneye in a way and of course that unlocks uh, more levels and things like that and it just makes for a game that's even more enjoyable but of course we're just getting to a very important part of the level we're about to be um, taking on Darth Vader and you have the whole you, know, you have a little targeting system in your first person display which of course you can you can use or, or completely ignore as uh, as our friend Ben Kenobi advises us to but it's um, like playing it was so great to be able to have an excuse to play this game again it just reminds me how enjoyable it is I think for me personally there are very few Star Wars games that that match just nail everything so well and just get the authenticity so right without messing around with the um, you know, the artistic license that many other Star Wars games up until up until this game uh, had, had did had done um, and I just think it's such an amazing game and I'm probably going to play a lot more of this after doing this video just because I just I just love it so much but I'm just going to let you watch me uh, destroy Darth Vader and also um, blow up the Death Star. But thank you very much for watching this marathon. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Are there any other game series you'd like me to do marathons of? Please let me know. Um, as always, you can follow me at Pughoof Gaming on Twitter or my own personal account at The Last Metroid also on Twitter. We're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, we're on Tumblr, we're on Vine, all of that good stuff. Please comment if you like this video. Please subscribe, share things with your friends. Talk to me. Yeah, um, I love talking about games, and I love talking about games with people who watch my videos. So please, uh, comment, share, subscribe. It's all good. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've been watching all of these videos. Until next time, happy gaming.